the title of Experimental Writing and Composition, Aesthetics and Pedagogies, might mislead readers into thinking that Patricia Suzanne Sullivan is going to outline uh, experimental writing as used in the classroom. Uh, however, this could not be further from the truth. In her introduction, Sullivan states, I do not argue for teaching experimental writing in composition classrooms, nor do I explain how to teach such texts. Uh, if you were looking for the, this book review for that, you can browse elsewhere. Instead, if you're looking for someone to sort through and evaluate certain high-profile arguments for teaching experimental writing and overview some of the pitfalls that one finds when teaching these forms of writing, you're welcome to stay. For those who have not uh, encountered P Patricia Suzanne Sullivan before, she was most recently the director of first year writing at Northeastern University and has written in conference essays and in print about multimodality in the student classroom. A link to her website can be found at the bottom of this page. Sullivan starts by looking at more expressivist and compositionist pedagogies that emphasize the individuality of the student and their use of experimental forms to uh, show greater forces at work. She cites such writers as Jeffrey Sirk, uh, Winston Weathers, Wendy Bishop, and others, uh, and contrasts them with more traditional forms of discourse pedagogy. Both expressivist and compositionist arguments, uh, she examines via dialectics, uh, such as alienation versus autonomy, and in the case of compositionist arguments, uh, critically examines them through a historical and theoretical debates um, about the politics of, of the avant-garde. For uh, Sullivan, experimental writing equates to avant-garde. The third chapter deals with the question of evaluating experimental writings. Sullivan outlines crises that can easily befall uh, instructors in using these pedagogies. She states, quote, a teacher's ability to judge student writing can be paralyzed when traditional f criteria fail to apply to a new form, or when traditional criteria and new criteria conflict irreconcilably, or when simply the teacher hasn't yet developed the criteria needed to evaluate what the student has produced." End quote. Sullivan then shows the and advocates uh, a reflective view of uh, evaluation, like those shown in uh, Minzan Liu's work, Professing Multiculturalism, the Politics of Style in, in the Contact Zone, and Jean-Francois Lyotard and Jean-Luc uh, Thibault's work, just gaming. In chapter four, Sullivan turns her attention to a specific type of experimental mode, the collage, and uses it to explain uh, more issues that uh, teachers come up with when uh, teaching experimental writing. In it, she highlights the fact that there are there's no one way to teach collage. Uh, briefly summarizing the methods used by Elbow in uh, Your Cheatin' Art, A Collage, and in Chris Gallagher's uh, If This Were Not a Collage, A Collage. She places collage as distinctly postmodern and discusses her own students' failed attempts uh, at the genre, as well as successful attempts with it. Finally, in the fifth chapter, she calls Postscript, uh, Sullivan branches out her analysis. She sees the um, parallels between experimental writing and um, new media in the classroom and sort of anticipates the uh, move in composition studies towards new media. I hope Dr. Sullivan will remember her acknowledgement uh, and not mind me saying what I really thought of her writing as she did with her sister's writing. Um, I felt the book could have been more accessible if written in a common vernacular or in a humorous take of meta-commentary. She wrote the book in a non-academic form. Um, however, this is an, an academic form and the form it took 
lent a voice of objectivity, which was probably what she hoped to establish. A little bit of background. I'm reading this book in my first semester of uh, teaching a first-year composition course, and I obviously still have a lot of fresh-faced idealism to shed. As I read through the book, I found myself swayed by the arguments of Sul that Sullivan present, uh, presents of the expressivists and compositionists, only to have the gumption beat out of me by the end of the chapters. In these chapters, Sullivan, like the dutiful te for teacher of formal composition, sorts through major arguments for experimental writing by their merits, chastising those that seeking to break the rules of formal composition studies with dense Derrida-like deconstruction and grudgingly accepts those that fit more into more, the more practical mode of um, composition studies. She pokes holes in the works of Peter Elbow, Jeffrey Sirk, Derek Owens, uh, by questioning their reasoning for including such experimental writing in their pedagogies. Now, the chapter on evaluation really helped me see the danger areas of this particular pedagogy. Um, these new experimental composition genres might be tempting for me to use and freeing for the students, but at the end of the day, I still have to put a well uh, thought out and just grade on the student work for the institution. Now, the fourth chapter it was a bit difficult for me to deal with because it's of my own newness to uh, composition studies. However, the um, the chapter does is very helpful. It shows the the first half shows um, sort of a necessary background for Sullivan. Um, the last section has uh, her own struggles with teaching collage uh, in the classroom. It, show, it highlights her uh, students' successes as well as their failures. And it's very encouraging to see Sullivan also having trouble uh, with the, her students understanding the nature of the form being taught. Now in Postscript, uh, Sullivan applies this, the criticism she works through in the previous chapters to um, new media. Though, as this chapter implies, it seems more of an afterthought or perhaps a cliffhanger for another book. Uh, it's gratifying to see her um, consider new media in terms of uh, experimental writing and actually equate them. Uh, and by equating them, she's allying the proponents of new media and experimental writing. So, is this book for you? If you're all for bucking the system and teaching avant-garde to stick it to the institution, no. If you're looking for a ready-made pedagogy or a how-to guide, no. But if you're looking for well-reasoned analysis of experimental writing pedagogies and aren't put off by deconstructionist uh, binary oppositions, yeah, this book is just for you.